Hey, so in this video I want to talk about creating uh, reusable views using zip files. Right now I want to create a header view, um, so I could go ahead and drag and drop a UI view element into the storyboard, but this is not going to be sustainable if I want to keep adding view controllers and want to have uh, the same header in all these uh, view controllers. Um, so we're going to create a zip file and we're going to talk about how that really works and integrates into the storyboard. The first thing we want to do is create the zip in the Swift file that goes along with the zip. So go to file, and then we'll go in user interface, and then view, and we'll call it uh, header view. So now we have um, a new zip file, and this is the same interface as storyboarding uh, storyboards, so be very familiar. Um, so what we want to do first is go to the attributes and modify the size to be freeform, um, and set the status bar to be none. Uh, generally, I like to have my zip um, views to look along the lines of how I expect them to look um, when they're actually added to the storyboard or when they're actually going to be in the app. So, for example, this header view, it's going to be the full width and it's going to have a, sm a smaller height. So this is more or less how it's going to look. Um, so now let's go ahead and just go ahead and like add like a label to it just so we can identify it later. So let's go ahead and add some constraints to that uh, center, center. And then we'll update that, change the, the title. Um, so now we have that. So now if we added this into the application, we'll actually see the updated uh, view. So let's also add a background so it's very clear that what we're doing. Okay, great. So later when we actually integrate this into the storyboard, uh, we'll have um, a green view with the header label. So that'd be easily identifiable. Um, so now what we need to do is create the Swift file that actually goes along with the header view, uh, zip. So source, Coco Touch class, it's going to be a subclass of UI view, and we're going to call it a header view. So make sure that uh, it's better to keep the names consistent. So same thing for the zip and for the Swift file. Uh, create. Um, okay, great. So now let's go ahead and remove this. So now in order to use um, zip files, in order to integrate those into your class, you need to um, implement the method, um, the init with uh, coder. Because uh, when there, when you add your view in the storyboard, um, it's, and if you're using a zip, it's going to try to open, you know, of course, the zip file. So it's going to use um, a coder. Um, so now here, uh, what we want to do is call, um, is call UI nib. And then we're going to uh, use nib name, which is going to be the name that we used uh, for the zip, so header view, and the bundle, um, if we specify nil for the nil for the bundle, it's going to default to the main bundle, and all the bundle is, um, it's where all your, your application's uh, files are stored, uh, pretty much, it's like a, it's part of the sandbox um, idea that Apple implements, uh, so now we have to call the method instantiate with owner, um, and the owner here is going to be self, because um, this handles handles its own uh, object, and then for the options we're just going to do nil. We don't need to do any other, other special things. Um, so this is all that we actually needed to do here. Um, the only thing is we also need to call, of course, um, super init on this coder. So day decoder decoder. So it should build. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, great. So a couple things left to do. So we need to go back to to the zip file and specify the file owner, uh, which we can do here in the inspector, um, so header view. Um, great, and now let's go ahead and open the assistant editor and drag and drop this view into here. Uh, and we'll just call it view. That's basically, that's pretty much the whole thing. Um, so now we have this here. So now the last thing we need to do is when this is instantiated, we also need to say that um, we want to add the sub view. Uh, so we're just going to add the view that we just defined. Um, and then the views um, uh, frame is going to be equal to the bounds of the current object. Because um, the current object has all of the. Uh, so when we go ahead and add this into the storyboard, it's going to have a bunch of constraints. Um, by setting the bounds, by setting the frame to be equal to, equal to the bounds, we're kind of we're getting those um, x, y origin points and whatnot. So uh, anything we would do in the storyboard will translate to the view that we're adding here. Okay, great. So now we're pretty much done with uh, this view. So now we need to go ahead and go to the storyboard and add this view. 
So let's go ahead and go back to the single uh, viewer, um, view the view controller. Okay, so we have this main view here. Let's go ahead and add a uh, view. Um, let's go ahead and put it here. Let's go ahead and do uh, some auto layout stuff. Um, so do uh, full width and we will do um, vertical spacing to the top layout guide. And we will go ahead and add a height um, to this view of let's say 60 for now, if that works. Um, and I believe we also need to center it. We need to give it an X position. So if we center it horizontally, that should be where that should be fine. There we go. Let's go ahead and update that. Okay, let's go ahead and add, um, let's go, uh, we need to tell it the class that we're actually using. So here we can say header view. Um, there we go. So now if we run this, it should work. Uh, excellent. Okay, so now there's only one thing going on here is um, we notice there's some overlap. If we go back to the storyboard um, and go here, let's see. We will notice that there is uh, some negative, yes, there's some negative spacing going on here. So let's just go ahead and put zero. So if we do zero, it's going to put it below the status bar. So if we rerun run this, we'll see um, what I'm talking about. Um, here, so maybe that's what we want, but um, perhaps not. So what you can do is just say that it's negative 20. Um, that'll put it to the top of the view, and it'll still work um, uh, if you, let's say, want to rotate your, your your orientation. The only the only thing is um, is that part of it gets chopped off because the idea is that you're not going to have any content. Um, on the actual status bar, but um, but yeah, you can, this is very design dependent. Um, can always uh, play around with um, margins and whatnot and auto layout. Um, so that that's pretty much how we add um, reusable views that can be used in uh, storyboards. So if, we, if I go ahead and were to add another uh, view controller, and it'd be very simple for me to go ahead and add the exact same um, header view. Um, it's as simple as just saying, you know, okay, we're using header view. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.